Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making a um, memory dex shaker card for Valentine's Day. Um, Um, what I had done so far is just I have like a memory dex cutting file um, So I used this and I cut off like the top because it was just like a you know Like a round piece so in my silhouette program I just used like that knife tool to cut this off to get the bottom and then I also attached the letters XO I don't I don't think you guys can really see that. Let me try to put this onto something darker here, let's use my iPad because that's right here. <laughs> you guys see the XO? You guys can see a little better now. Um, so I just attached the XO and then I welded everything together so that it would be one piece to cut out. Now what I'm going to be doing is sewing around this. So I want to sew, which I actually might glue down first, but I want to sew these bits onto um, my memory dex card. And then I only want the shaker bits here, but I gotta sew all the way around here. So this might be really hard. I'm not a good sewer. This is probably only about my fourth time sewing ever. I just got this machine for Christmas and you know, I'm not a good sewer, so I haven't sewn much. Um, the first time the other day I was sewing around a circle and wow, that was uh, terrible and atrocious, but we're gonna try um, the sewing. I just don't know how it's gonna come out because I'm not really professional or anything and I'm still very very new to sewing but I got my sewing machine out and um, yeah we're gonna attempt to sew right now okay so that's what I'm gonna do first I might just put some glue down here just so that it stays because I want to stick two of these together obviously for now and then just sew um, the bottom memory dex pieces on top of it so I might um, just glue it down for now and see how that goes but at the same time I'm afraid that my sewing machine is not going to go through four kind of layers. So let's figure this out and hopefully this turns out well, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, so I got kind of like, um, I, I did the sewing and I think it actually did a pretty good job. I'm kind of impressed with myself right here. Um, what I need to do is cut off all these pieces. I don't know how I got all of these like random pieces on here, but somehow I did. I don't know, is that like a normal thing of sewing? Looks like it bundled up a little bit over here, but that's okay. My machine didn't die. As long as it's alive, it's fine but I'm actually kind of impressed at myself because <laughs> I did a pretty good job. This is actually really good. Look guys, look how cute. All right, so now we just, all we did was the bottom part so far. Now we have to go um, and do kind of like around the X and the O and we're gonna do majority, but we're not gonna fill these top pieces here. I mean, we're not gonna sew on these top yet because we need to, um, uh, we need to add our shaker bits. So let's get to some stitching and hopefully I do a good job on this. Oh my goodness guys, wow! I'm doing such a good job around this. Wow, this is uh, fantastic. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so we gotta cut this off, and I'm gonna add in my shaker bits. We're still gonna go back over this because otherwise it's gonna come apart. Um, but let's, I don't know, maybe I should sew on the inside too. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh wait, I need to. <gasps> I forgot about that. Okay, we're gonna go back around and sew on the inside because otherwise my shaker bits are still gonna fall out from the inside. Okay, we did not do as good of a job this time around. 
Oh my god, I'm getting confused with all these strings. You guys see this? I started sewing on I don't know what, on nothing. I'm gonna cut that off. And then it got tangled over here. Does this happen to you guys too? Do you guys just waste a whole bunch of thread by just cutting off bits and pieces because they end up everywhere? <laughs> Let me know. Like if you guys sew. Okay. I'm gonna add in my sequins into this one right here. I don't know how much I could fit, probably not much. Um, I would wanna put in these guys. But they might be a little too thick. So maybe we'll just do these. These I got in like a pack, I, I forgot for what. Um, I believe it was from Nifty Crafty Me on Instagram. Are these even gonna go in there? I may have failed, guys. How are they gonna get down there? Oh guys, this is not gonna work. I think they're too big. That would have been so cute though. Okay, so plan number two um, is gonna be using little teeny like bead things. Let me just um, find them guys. Okay, so I got these as a sample from Alina Craft. They're just like little teeny um, red beads. And I think we're gonna try to put these and these might be able to move around more freely inside. So let me just um, hopefully not make a mess. I feel like I'm gonna have these beads everywhere in about a minute, like literally everywhere. But we're gonna try, let's do a little at a time. And hopefully this will be fine. Ooh. Don't fall out that way. I need you to go down. Guys, this isn't working. They won't go down. I think I think I need to add the beads um, when I'm like halfway next time. So I am gonna cut out another one of these. I don't know if I have that same paper, but we're gonna try and we're gonna start again. So I'll, I'll save you guys this part of um, me doing the stitching again, but maybe I'll just finish stitching this one up um, and maybe put some beads on top of it or something. Actually, let's do that. And then, um, and then I'll come back and show you guys the other one once I finish it. Cause it's gonna be the same idea, just, um, you know. All right, so let me actually finish just stitching all around this. I got beads everywhere now. Fantastic. Okay, so there is the O. Let's do the X, and we're gonna call that one a day. Okay, I think I made a mess. Oh no, I didn't. Oh my gosh, guys, that actually turned out pretty damn good. Look at that. Oh my gosh, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing this? That is amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm getting better and better, guys. Thank you for being on this journey with me of sewing. I know people get angry like, oh, when people are sewing all the time, but I'm just excited because this is new to me and I'm learning and super duper exciting. You don't need a lot to start sewing and I've never sewn before guys until I got this machine ever on a sewing machine, like never. So it's all very new to me and I just learned. It took one whole entire day of me learning and a lot of frustrations to figure out even how to thread my machine. But once you figured it out, like, look how pretty this looks. I mean, um, this got a little messy here, but that's okay. I'm just gonna keep, I'm trying to get like that inside part off. Um, and the rest could like stay because that inside didn't really get sewn to begin with. But look how pretty guys. 
Oh, I love it. Okay, I don't know how to do this um, and turn it into a shaker, but this looks really good as is. All right, so let me go cut out the other pieces and we're gonna try one more time. 20 minutes later. If you guys have any tips on how to make clear acetate shakers, please let me know. Um, I've been going step by step, um, piece by piece. Um, just adding in some sequins and then now I have to sh um, sew up the rest. Um, so that's the only way I could think of, but it still doesn't shake. So they're just going to be chilling in there, but I think it looks cute. Um, but if you guys have any ideas on how to actually make it shake and, um, you know, do a good job on this, let me know because I'm struggling right now. It's still going to look good though, but, um, it's not shaking how I wanted it to go. All right guys, so I finished and this was hands down one of the hardest things I've ever had to do <laughs> and try to figure out, which I still really didn't. Um, I think I did an okay job sewing on this one. I was really proud of it at first when I finished. I'm just showing you guys on a black background so you guys could see, but I was really proud of it at first because I think I did a pretty good job for like my fourth time sewing ever. I think I did pretty good. But then I showed my mom and my dad and they were like, eh, what is that? <laughs> so, um, I don't know, but I thought I did an okay job, especially like around the memory decks card and the X I think looks really good. Um, the O I know is a little, um, wonky, but overall I think I did a pretty good job. I tried to add in sequins as you guys saw, um, and I, I just could not do it. Um. They wouldn't shake in here. They wouldn't go in. I don't know how people make these. Um, I mean, I, don't, I really don't know. How do you make this into a shaker? Um, so that was a real struggle. Then the other one that I made the second time around, I started adding in bits and pieces as I was sewing. So first I like sewed this and this a little bit and then I added in sequins and I stuffed them in there with like a pokey tool. They do not shake, which is still not what I wanted, but at least um, this one has some sequins in it. <laughs> so there is that one. I think they did come out really cute though. And then on this one, I did an even better stitching job, especially on the memory deck card part, like on the bottom here. Look at that stitching. It's pretty straight and even and I'm very proud of um, that one. I only came off like a little bit over here. My paper moved around after I glued it a little bit. Um, so there's like a little white edge, but um, the rest of this is actually still pretty good too. It got a little crazy here on the X. Um, it kept sewing off of the X. Um, so I had to go back a whole bunch of times to make sure it stays, but I added in sequins piece by piece literally one at a time and then I started stuffing them in there as much as I could and then I would sew a little bit more, stuff some more in, sew a little bit more and stuff some more in. There has to be an easier way to do this. I just don't know what that is so if you guys have any ideas please let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Project was inspired by Crafting with Liller because she posted um the XOs uh, on a memory decks and I think she had something like this and then she added in the jemmies. She didn't do a shaker but I was just inspired to try and make a shaker which still clearly really didn't work but regardless of this not being a shaker as I wanted it to be, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the sewing point of view that you guys got to see. So after this video I decided to go and add a tassel. Uh, Lily had it on hers and I recently got these super teeny mini eyelets off of Amazon, um, one day shipping or two day shipping, I think, and they just came in. Um, and then these little tassels are from Maggie Holmes from the Flourish collection. So I'm happy I found little teeny tiny tassels. This one right here gave me such a hard time. Um, I punched like a little hole, a one eighth inch size, and then I don't know, my crocodile was like acting up or something and it made a bigger hole somehow, but I wasn't punching it. I was just trying to squeeze the eyelet. So then I had to put in a bigger eyelet, but this one's just a little bit bigger. That was gifted to me in like a wish that I made on a Facebook group. So um, there's that, but yeah, there's my cute little um, memory dex cards with the cute little tassel. They're adorable. All right, just wanted to share. Thanks again for watching. 
and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!